What's up, everybody? My name is Octavian, and if you're watching this, you're luckily an incoming freshman to college. Me, as a rising senior, this is information that I wish I knew going to my first year of college. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you like the information that's being provided. Let's get into the list. Number one is finances. Now, some of you that are watching may have to take out loans. Some of you may have your parents paying for college. Some of you may have a full ride scholarship paying for college. Whatever it is, you still need money. Don't get it twisted. Just because you have all these other sources, you still need money. And I recommend heavily working over the summer while you still have the time. Get a part, get a part time job, full time job, whatever, and get your bread. You need that. You really do. Whatever you do, just apply and try to get a job because that money is going to be super important, super important throughout that semester. Because during the semester, you're going to be super busy with schoolwork. You're not really going to feel like working. And if you do have to work during your school year, whether it be a, a on campus job, part time job, or an on campus uh, or an off campus job, uh, like that is so much extra stress that you don't really want. So while you're at home now, you can take advantage and work your butt off in order to make some bread. Like now, like this is like a, this is why it's number one because making the money is going like you're going to need that money. Like when your friends want to go out to a new restaurant that's around the campus or whatever, when you see something online, there's a deal, uh, and like you want new shirt, new pants, whatever, you're going to need money. And working now when you have the time to be able to do so and saving up that money, not and I'm saying work work now and save that money up for the school year because that is when you're going to need it. That's when it's going to come into effect the most prominent. So, yeah, definitely number one is work. Work as much as possible. Get as much bread as possible. Um, yeah, that's number one. Number two is don't get behind on your academics, right? Now, you may be wondering, like, okay, you're going into your freshman year of college. How can you get behind your academics? Well, me coming into college, I came in as a chemistry major. Chemistry, they, our advisors coming in, they told us that we should take, uh, take Calc 2 or Calc 1, if you didn't really understand Calc 2, and uh, review over the summer all of your chemistry notes. If you took AP Chemistry, which I did, and just like prepare yourself for the course load because college is a lot harder. I didn't take that seriously. I said, no, it's gonna be easy. So I was like, I'm good. I got a four on the AP Calc test. On the AP Chem test, I didn't do so hot, but I was still confident in my chemistry abilities during the school year. Then I go in, I walk in the first day of class, just gone. I didn't even know what happened. It was just F, D. F, like, come on, like, it, it was, it was hitting me like crazy, they was going so fast, I didn't understand what was going on, and that's because I didn't come in prepared, I didn't come in with the, with the knowledge of where I should, should have been, they came in talking about stuff I learned three, four, five months ago, and I barely remember, but I was like, I, I, I recollect what you're saying, I, I remember some of the words you're using, but I don't know, I don't know what any of that means in terms of this. And that is definitely something that you will try you will definitely want to to review and that's something that you definitely want to like that you definitely want to take advantage of. Like what you have, right, you got out of school, you've probably been chilling for a little bit, and you had this quarantine going on. Definitely take advantage and review your notes. I'm not saying you have to do it now, you could probably do that maybe just like two, three, four weeks. Before the semester starts, before your fall semester starts, start reviewing. Just start reviewing some of your old notes, some of the old textbooks, some of, if you have slides or lectures, review some of that. Because that stuff will be applicable for your course load. If, I mean, for me, I was I came in as a STEM major, so it was applicable for me. Other majors, I'm not incredibly sure if some of the stuff that you did in high school is going to be directly applicable to what you're doing in college. But... It's still good to practice some of those things um, just because you'll you'll end up needing it. You'll, you'll definitely end up needing some of it.
Number three of things that you should do is connect. That means reach out to a whole bunch of people that's going to the same school as you. That includes all the online forums in case you can't go out and actually meet people. You can use GroupMe, Reddit, Twitter, there's Facebook groups. Like there's so many different online outlets that you are that you should be able to take advantage of and meet people that are going to be on your campus. And especially go out and try to meet people that are the same year as you because you're likely going to be you're going to be in that same class as that person. So it's good to try to make as many friends, peers, connections as possible. So then when you actually get on campus, you straight. You don't feel like an outsider. You don't feel like you don't know anybody at all yet. Like it's a perfect opportunity to do that. You can use, th use things like Zoom, um, my meeting, you could FaceTime, like whatever. All those things, Blackboard. Like there's so many online video chat outlets that you should be able to use to reach out and connect with people because these people can become your best friend. They can also become your enemies too, but it's good to know that before going into college to know who you shouldn't be hanging around with and people that you can potentially call a good friend. You can also reach out to your your roommate if if you did random and you haven't and you already got a sign or whatever. Reach out to them, talk with them, try to do a, a call with them, try to get to know them a little bit better. So then you know what they like, they know what you like. You build that kind of friendship, bond, connection, whatever. And you ain't gotta be best friends, but you gotta be cool enough because you're gonna be living in the same space, right? So. That's also a great way to, uh, that's also a great opportunity to connect as well. Lastly, number four is try to prepare yourself. Now, I already talked about preparing yourself academically with review, but try to prepare yourself mentally because you're going to be in an environment where it's a whole bunch of different people with a lot of different views that you may have, and some will share your views and some will be directly opposite. Definitely prepare yourself to engage in that kind of environment especially with people that have different behaviors as you. College is a whirlwind uh, of, of meeting new people, seeing different things, and experiencing different things. And being able to go to college and with the mindset that you, with the mindset that people are going to be different from you and people are going to have various perspectives as you, that is something that, had did prepare me and that's something that i think was very important that i developed throughout my freshman year of college uh but i'm i'm advising you to try to work on that process now because it's super important and like people that I lived on my floor freshman year some of them i didn't th agree with all the things that they did some of them i agree with them for the most part but the point was that i accepted them for who they were and what their views were and it didn't necessarily dictate and it stressed me out it didn't make me I didn't make me uncomfortable necessarily and that's because I was accepting of their of the different perspectives I didn't necessarily have it as a distraction and I didn't I didn't have it as something that really bothered me too much I kind of I kind of was able to understand that their perspective was different than mine and even though I didn't agree with it it wasn't really harmful to me and I let uh, bygones be bygones and let them do them and I do me. So it is what it is. I think that that mindset is very important. And I think that being able to accept people's differences, uh, no matter what they are, will save yourself a lot of stress uh, a lot later. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you do not do it earlier. Comment down below if you made it to the end of the video. Your favorite fruit. Yeah, your favorite fruit. Uh, I don't really have a favorite fruit. I like uh, the little cuties. Um, I like I like pineapple. I like kiwi. Uh, I like bananas. I like watermelon. Like blueberries strawberries cherries i don't know i don't really have a favorite fruit i like a variety uh but <laughs> do you have one do you have a favorite fruit and what is it um yeah i'll catch y'all later though peace